Welcome to 15 Minutes with the Realtor. I am Michaela Bacotti, a member of the Home and Ranch team, and I am joined today with the one and only Paul Ward, a 20-year veteran of the real estate market in Ventura County. Hi, Michaela. Hey, good morning. And of course, before we start, we want to reach out and thank our sponsors, the Money Store and the Escrow Hub. Great. Thank, so you, thank you, guys. You sponsors. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so what is today's topic? Oh, today's topic is a great one, one um, that gets asked a lot. It is, what are some dated or outdated features that prospective buyers always notice while touring houses? And um, what can sellers do to fix those features and make them more appealing? Sure. Well, you can imagine 20 years in the business, there's nothing that really surprises me anymore, uh, but there are kind of a consistent themes, I would say, or things that stand out that could be fixed to uh, make a, a home appeal to more buyers. So um, we can certainly talk about what those items are that I think uh, will not break the budget. Um, of course, everybody has a different budget, but um, there are certain things that home sellers can do uh, to get their home ready to appeal to more buyers. So uh, the first thing that I think of uh, when I walk through a home, um, I see, I notice immediately is, especially of course in older homes, would be cottage cheese ceilings. Oh. And um, you know they just stand out. They were very popular in the 60s and 70s. Uh, I grew up uh, in a house that had not only cottage cheese in my bedroom, but little twinkly uh, flecks. Little, oh, yeah. uh, little gold flecks and I would stand up at, or stare at the lion bed and stare at the ceiling sometimes and just uh, look at the little gold flecks in the cottage cheese and um, believe it or not my mom still lives in the same house uh, 46 years and um, she's remodeled every room in the house except for that one which is her husband's library so she just keeps the door closed <laughs> And it still has the cottage cheese ceiling with the gold flex. So it's kind of funny. When I showed my son my old bedroom, it has not changed one bit, except it's full of his book, you know, full of books because it's now a library. But cottage cheese is still there. Oh, wow. So is that yeah. something um, someone can remove themselves or does it take a specialist? You know, you, you can remove it yourself. It is a messy job. Um, you probably want to have it checked for asbestos. Um, in that case, you definitely need to wear, well, either way, you need to wear protective gear because of just the dust, uh, the sheer amount of dust. And it's a very messy job. Um, so, you know, I made the mistake actually of buying a house, moving in, this is several years ago, and then deciding to remove the cottage cheese after we moved in. Mm crazy. And so all of the furniture had to be piled into the middle of the rooms and then covered in plastic. And, um, and then of course the messy job, you know, took place and all of the cottage cheese falls to the floor and then has to be vacuumed up. Um, and then the ceiling has to be retextured. So um, it just makes a, a, a house stand out. And of course we'll go through some less expensive fixes to update a home, getting ready to sell. Uh, but if you can get rid of the cottage cheese, if the house does have cottage cheese, that would certainly be uh, a, a big, a big upgrade. Excellent. Yeah, I know. I certainly noticed the the cottage cheese popcorn ceilings. Um, yeah. What is another like broader um, reach or broader ranging fix that um, that someone could easily do, perhaps? Sure. So short of doing that, I think paint and carpet go a long way. Um, if you think of the square footage of a home, um, every single wall, with a few exceptions, is painted. I mean, there are some decorative walls that might be natural wood, but for the most part, most walls in a home are painted. And, um, and flooring, of course, is every single room. Mm -hmm. um, so we say paint and carpet, but there are, of course, alternatives to carpet now. Um, vinyl plank flooring that looks like wood, uh, very, very popular. And a lot of folks now just want, you know, clean floors, of course, and uh, having wood floors or vinyl plank floors as an alternative to wood. Um, 
is very popular and much more cost effective. And so if you can paint the interior of the home and uh, replace outdated carpet, maybe with new carpet or with vinyl plank, um, that goes a long way. So those are the those are the those are the biggies. Um, of course, we'll talk about some uh, less expensive items, but if at all possible, um, flooring, paint, cottage cheese. If if the house has cottage cheese, uh, getting rid of that. Those are those are big big um, upgrades to appeal to more buyers. Great. So I'm hearing you say fresh paint, vinyl plank flooring goes a long way, and of course those pesky cottage cheese ceilings. Yes, absolutely. What are some um, maybe smaller or less expensive um, approaches that sellers can um, that sellers can take? Sure, if your budget is more limited, um, I really like to change if, if there's a, uh, a shower in a bathtub, mm -hmm. not a walk-in shower, but a shower in a bathtub, I would highly recommend up, updating the shower curtain. Um, there are some very decorative, um, but classy shower curtains. I mean, there's thousands of styles, um, you know, cloth material on the outside with the waterproof plastic on the inside. Mm -hmm. uh, that just looks really, really nice when you walk into a bathroom to have a fresh shower curtain. And it also, um, you know, hides the bathtub, even if the tile might be outdated. Um, having a nice fresh shower curtain is a nice thing to see as opposed to an, you know, an old bathtub. Um, you can also uh, change out the light switches and the cover plates on all of the electrical outlets. There's some fun uh, modern light switches and electrical plates. And um, another cost-effective change might be to change the door handles throughout the house. So people do notice these things because they're gonna be you know, opening doors and um, going into each room. So, you know, changing out a 1975 door handle to a 2022 door handle, um, they will notice that. Right. And those are all such great changes to make that, um, that I would think almost anyone can do themselves. They can. I mean, if you're handy, you know, you're if handy. you're not, yeah. you know, invite a friend over who's handy, um, or you could certainly hire a handyman to do that. You don't necessarily need a locksmith, uh, but those are, you know, certainly easy easy changes. And if you think about it, when you're walking through every single room in the house, um, you're going to notice the new uh, hardware on the doors. Right. And then for people who like to cook, um, they might, you know, open the drawers in the kitchen, right? Um, open the kitchen cabinets. If you can put, uh, you know, self-closing drawers, um, changing the hardware on the drawers in the kitchen, that's a nice feature. Oh, absolutely. Wow. So you've given us a lot of ideas today. You've given us um, carpeting, plank, vinyl plank flooring. You've given us cottage cheese, the shower curtain, and all the hardware. Um, is there any place in, in particular where you like to purchase your hardware um, locally, or do you like a big box store online? You know, I think it really just depends on the individual. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, name any specific stores, but uh, big box, of course, is probably the easiest, mm -hmm. but you can always go online and um, find some interesting, fun stuff. I don't think you want to have something that's uh, too out of the box, right. right? Because, again, you're getting your house ready to sell and you want to appeal to the masses. You know, you don't, if you're going to paint the house, don't paint the walls green. You know, don't paint the walls blue. Um, I love Swiss coffee white. Oh. Nobody questions it you know it's not as bright as hospital white but white is white and you know it doesn't get any any pushback um people don't think oh i need to repaint that mm -hmm. um everybody is okay with white so you want to have colors and fixtures that are going to appeal to the broadest audience not to a very specific uh, tiny subset of of folks Say you got a deal on a load of paint. Could you paint every room in the house the same color or is that overkill? Oh, no, you absolutely could. Oh. I think, I mean, I just, you know, just sold a house that had a blue room, a yellow room, um, 
a blue wall and a green wall. Very strange. I mean, mm -hmm. it was her individual taste, and that's fine. I mean, she lived there for many, many years. But getting the home ready to sell, um, we painted the entire house with coffee white. Uh, we took out most of the carpet. Well, we took out all of the carpet. And then the common areas, we put in vinyl plank flooring. Looks very classy. Mm -hmm. And then in the two bedrooms, we did do a uh, fresh carpet with a speckled look. So it's not a solid color, it's kind of a speckled look. And there's, you know, dozens and dozens of choices. But the speckled color matches the um, some of the built-in cabinets. And then it also flows very nicely into the common areas where we have the plank flooring. So it, it all makes kind of a seamless transition between the rooms. But the but the paint color is is uniform throughout the house. Um, you know, if you got cheap paint. Um, at, a, at a discount, um, you know, that might be okay if it's a neutral color that is going to appeal to the broadest audience. Mm -hmm. But if you got, you know, all of a sudden somebody gave you some cheap blue or some, you know, inexpensive yellow, I would just say thank you, but but pass on that. Yeah, those are all great tips. Wow, so certainly there, there are many things that are cost effective, but very impactful that will catch a buyer's attention. You know, and they'll just think, wow, this is such a well-maintained home. Sure. And, you know, this might, this list might seem like a little bit of overkill. So even just, you know, changing the shower curtain, um, if that's all you can do, um, is nice. When somebody walks into the bathroom, they see a nice fresh shower curtain, um, as opposed to an old, you know, grungy shower curtain. So whatever you can do, whatever your budget is, um, these are just little tips, little recommendations that, you know, can go a long way to appeal to more, to more buyers. Great. I'm looking forward to, um, to hearing from our listeners and see what they do, what advice they've taken from this, um, and maybe what tips and tricks they have up their sleeves too. So if you have any comments, um, any ideas, if you can't wait to give this a try, let us know in the comments, or, um, you can email us. Um, one other thing is when you're walking up the front walk, it's mm -hmm. nice to have, obviously, everything swept and clean and no cobwebs, but you can always put a nice pot on the front porch filled with flowers. Um, you know, it's just a nice, nice cheery touch that you're going to enter this, this warm home, right? To have fresh flowers on the, on the front porch. It kind of, it, it says a lot about the home. It does. And that is such a quick fix. That is such a, a rundown to the floors, to the, um, Big yeah, local hardware store. They already have mm -hmm. potted plants. You can buy them already, already you know, in the pot. Uh, you don't have to even plant the flowers yourself if you don't want to. And uh, you know, they'll last a couple months uh, before you have to change them. So um, you know, it's just a nice, a nice touch. Wow, that's something even someone like me who's not handy could could tackle. There you go. There See? we go. You already, you already know how to cheer up your front porch. Um, yeah. Um, so I just want to encourage everyone to go ahead and subscribe to Farm Talk with Paul Ward wherever you are downloading um, today's episode. You can subscribe on any streaming platform wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Um, we'll be there. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and never miss uh, 15 minutes with the realtor and um, Paul's, Paul's insight into the market. Sounds good, Michaela. Well, thank you so much. This has been this has been great.